Hello my soccer universe and welcome to another jersey review. Yes, AFCON jersey review. We'll talk about the thing that uh, is one of the primary reasons to watch the AFCON. That's of course the wonderful jerseys that are typically released. African national team jerseys as you know are one of those things that are something very near and dear to my heart as you can see in the background. Although I realize that a whole lot of green in there. Um, in this AFCON we have a total I think of 16 different suppliers which is a variety that is hardly ever seen in any other tournament which is something I totally enjoy. Some of those I've never heard, some of those made really nice choices, some of them did not. So we're gonna do a video for each group that I probably two to three videos per week until we are at the end of the AFCON I think it sounds about fair, maybe two videos per week. Um, so uh, that's kind of the schedule that I'm looking at. And as always, I would like to hear your opinion on these jerseys too. Now, for uh, group A, which has the hosts, Cameroon, that's the group where I actually have the most jerseys. And you know, we have here Cameroon and uh, Burkina Faso. I think here's another Cameroon one. So uh, a little bit doubling up uh, here, all green, yes. Maybe a Cameroon away jersey should be coming my way or some of the other nations. I would say we'll get started and we'll start with Burkina Faso who have been with Kappa for a while but now find themselves with a local company called Tovio. Uh, I have kind of a bull's head as a logo and I gotta say their jersey the home jersey looks maybe a teeny bit weird. I mean, uh, it has the uh, Burkina Bay flag in there um, on the front. So you have the green jer uh, jersey, then a little bit red, and the yellow star, and then uh, more green that goes all the way down. Um, and the, uh, But what I really like with that one is, of course, the, the um, uh, stallions all uh, as, as an all-over print, which makes it kind of really nice to look, look at. Um, maybe the white sleeve cuffs could have been yellow. I think that's maybe the one thing. Um, also, I do not have a better piece. This is uh, directly from the Kater room. <laughs> so uh, it's an issue for most of these. I got them straight from footy headlines, all these pictures. So uh, that's the best I could come up with. But I gotta say, uh, overall, I do uh, enjoy this jersey quite some. It's a strong effort. I mean, it took me a while to figure out that it's Stallions and actually it's better on the away jersey, which will come to... But I think it's a solid start. I would say we'll start with a seven here. Um, the away jersey does the same thing in white, but you have keep the center strap. And I actually do like this. Maybe the color um, in a red and then turning green, that's a little bit odd. But you can really see the stallions, uh, especially the uh, where the green strap gets a little bit lighter. You can really see a horse head in there. I totally love that look, to be honest. Um, and it makes it very uh, nice. Overall, I also love the red sleeves uh, cuffs. Uh, it's a very, very uh, nice, nice jersey that I'm going to give nine stars. I, I really enjoy this one. And then we're going to go to the next one, which are the hosts Cameroon, which uh, have already switched to the Cox Sportif. Um, and this time around, they had a different home jersey, uh, but now they uh, Le Cox Sportif released a new one. It is a, tap, a, a typical green jersey uh, with, of course, the lion on one side, the Cameroon um, crest on the other one. Uh, and it has a very broad Cameroon flag without the star in there, which I think is a little bit of a miss uh, on the left shoulder. Uh, the other outstanding feature is, of course, there are the lion claw marks on the wall was there. Although I have to say Puma did it much better in 2004, where it was on the side and you could see them in green. So uh, this overall print, if this really means uh, that a lion claw came through, you have been shredded by a lion if I look at that. So gotta say it's a little bit too much in my opinion. However, the jersey in itself is really, really nice. I think it's befitting of eight stars. I actually like it's a little bit asymmetric with the uh, uh, flag on the shoulder and overall. You cannot go wrong with a Cameroon shirt, can't you? Uh, the away jersey is still the old one to my knowledge. Again, uh, I rely here on footy headlines. Um, the home jersey, the old one, was basically this one, but with um, red and yellow uh, chevron. I gotta say, this is uh, interesting. I wanna know what the writing uh, down there means, but other than that, I really enjoy uh, this one. It's a kind of, uh, it's a 
classy look you have a little bit of flag in there as well um, and the lion is very prominent on that one too so uh, there's not really a bad jersey there uh, I think it's also an eight star moving on to um, Cape Verde uh, the Sharks they also switched away to the sponsor to I guess it's another local company in Tempo and I actually do enjoy the white um, uh, uh, not white, the blue with a little bit stripe pattern and then you have the shark coming on the bottom which makes this immediately uh, one that I would like to have. Uh, the shark of course is also on the Cape Verde crest where it actually has a little bit of a red in there and I wonder wouldn't this look better. Also the gold I think red would look better there. Uh, it's just a personal feeling I have, but I think a uh, red outline uh, would, would, would look better. But other than that, it's a really nicely uh, designed jersey. Again, for national teams, especially for African national teams, you can go a little bit wilder. I do wonder though about the, uh, the solid blue stripes in the center, especially since uh, the crest and the manufacturer logo overlap a little bit. So maybe that's uh, one where I have to say, yeah, okay, Maybe not all uh, that super, but uh, where shall I go with this one? I, I think it's still a seven. I, I do like it. Uh, we have the away jersey is the same thing in white. The gold box, me. You know, you have blue, white, and red. Use those colors. So I'm gonna go six here. Uh, and then the third jersey does the same thing in red. But you know, here's an all over print. This might actually be the best one of, of them. Is still there's the gold there. Um, I, I, okay, I buy now the gold as an accent color. But you know, I think this could be a teeny bit nicer. But here we have an all over print, and I think that I enjoy. And of course, again, the shark on the bottom. Let's give this a seven. And we'll go to Ethiopia to add the, uh, to uh, edit this. Now, a uh, big disclaimer up front. Um, Ethiopia is manufactured by Umbro. And as far as I know, the pictures that I got, maybe when you buy the shirts from um, Umbro, you get it with the Ethiopia print, but the players do not have the Ethiopia print. So um, I kind of it's, I need to judge it without um, that. Although I actually, for Africa, I've seen this before, so I wouldn't mind having it there, to be honest. But you know be it as it may uh all umber shirts uh for this afcon fig uh have very interesting patterning and the ethiopia shirt is no uh different there i do enjoy uh the green base and the sleeve cuffs kind of compete uh, completing the flag um the crest of course has a soccer ball as does the cameroon crest which is something i never enjoy uh the overall geometrical pattern though um with the side i think this is interesting uh, it gets a little bit wilder with Umbro, but uh, I guess here I actually could, I actually do enjoy this one. Um, and I, I, I must go. This is something interesting. I would hope that there's some cultural reference with it and just not a random pattern. But, you know, who knows these days? And as I said, I, as much as I enjoy Africa, I'm not a 100% expert on it. So if you have any insight on what this might uh, depict, uh, please uh, hit me up in the comments. I do enjoy this one. Eight stars. You know, I do love my African jerseys. I gotta say though, this one is a little bit too too much. It's a little bit too 60s, 70s like. Uh, the pattern uh, kind of a little bit epilepsy inducing. So maybe here that one um, goes a little bit too far for my taste. And also the tone of yellow is um, nah, not exactly mine. So uh, here I need to go for it. This is the worst shirt we've seen so far. Uh, and then the, the third shirt in yellow, uh, in red. Love the sleeve cuffs. Again, the pattern is very 60s like. A bit much. A bit much <laughs> for my taste. Uh, so I, I really enjoyed the home jersey just because we broke it up. This one is, again, a little bit too much, although I can see that some people might have appealed. I go a little bit higher with five, but I gotta say Ethiopia, maybe that was not the very best one. But maybe you have a different opinion. So I would like to hear which of these shirts did you like? Uh, where do you agree with my assessment? And where do you disagree? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. 
And with that, have a wonderful day.